Hi, welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. One of the things that's been kind of bugging me about the Prusa XL is the sound. It's actually very loud and it has a lot of vibration. So Voxel just came out with a, uh, uh, an announcement that there's an anti-vibration tool coming for bamboo and there may be one coming from Prusa in the future. But for sound, Prusa released an alpha firmware update, firmware only that has reduced the sound levels coming from the, the uh, printer by up to and more than 90%. So I downloaded the software, it's 6.00 alpha, put it on the flash drive, rebooted the uh, printer, installed it, which will go through the steps, and we're gonna listen to the difference. It's very obvious and very significant. So well done, Prusa, let's check it out. Okay, we're installing the firmware 6.00. I downloaded it, put it on the flash drive, and we're installing it. All right, at this time it says, please complete calibration and test before using the printer. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's go to control. Scroll down, calibration and tests. And here we go. So we're going to go down to number 13, phase stepping calibration. That hasn't been done. That's the, that's the big deal. So here we go. So now it's going to move the print head in a diagonal fashion. It's going to calibrate it. So there it's got tool one and it's calibrating the x-axis. I'm going to open up this enclosure so it's easier to see. There we go. Once it calibrates X, it'll do the Y as well. And this is supposed to reduce the sound, the resonant vibration by more than 90%. We're going to check it with a decibel meter. All right, now it's calibrating the Y. It's moving diagonally to do this. And it'll take a few minutes. So this shows that X, the, this shows axis X vibration reduced by 92%. A, B reduced by 89%. A, the vibration, the V, the Y vibration by 94%. And the vibration B by 87%. That's unbelievable. So when you go to settings, you can see that crash detection has been turned off because of the resonance dampening and crash detection right now cannot be on at the same time. So we want the resonance dampening, but they're working on allowing both to work together, but it's not there yet. To turn the dampening on and off, we're gonna to go to settings, hardware, and phase stepping. This is where you turn it on or off. So we're gonna leave it on right now but during a print, we're gonna turn it on and off and check the sound levels. Okay, while we're printing, we can go to tune and scroll all the way down and get phase stepping here. We can turn it on and off here. So I've got my decibel meter here. Okay, here we go, phase stepping on. Face stepping off. On. It is considerably quieter. I am really impressed.
an amazing difference amazing difference to the ear face stepping really really works it's on now that's my voice getting getting the db high i want to be quiet off big difference so with this firmware update 6.00 alpha phase stepping has been introduced which has reduced the sound level from the printer dramatically it's amazing that a software update can do this but it did it's real it's it's worthwhile downloading i highly recommend it so this was the video demonstrating how effective that new firmware update is in, in, in reducing the, this, the sound, the resonant sound. It's impressive. And you can hear, you can hear it clearly, clear as day. Uh, if this was helpful, please click thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thank you.